Hello, uh, this is another tutorial of how to use the editor within a uh, logo programming language. So the first thing I'll do is click on the edit hole and um, I've already set my font size so enter the following lines of codes. I hope you guys can see that clearly. So let's increase the font to something more visible. Okay, I already have 30 there. I think that's that would do. So what I've done in here is to square size that's the size that I want and I want it to repeat four times okay instead of a FD and a number there now it's going to be size so which means you can now enter whatever size you want so I'm now going to go to file save and exit so now come here and run that particular line of code enter square space 50 for example and that is what you get okay if you guys can look carefully you will see the turtle right here so I'm now going to move that turtle let's say I move it to approximately um, 270 so I'll say um, RT to 70 okay that's what I've the position I've moved my turtle to now so I want to now increase my square by 100 so increase the square by 100 maybe this time around let's just change the color go to color change that to maybe red click and uh, square 100 can you guys see that so I'm now going to repeat exactly the same thing move this very let's say FD let's move it approximately 100 okay I've moved that forward so the next thing I will now do is maybe change the color one more time change that very color to let's see yeah that's fine green okay now this very square I'm gonna make that 150 look at that 150 now let's give it a go again select F FD might as well change the FD to 150 look at that now change the square now to 200 square equals 200 let me change the color if I change the pen color to yellow Okay, that's fine now press enter look at that guys we can also develop exactly the same thing right here just to the right of the screen okay to do that now we have 150 here we have another 100 here that will give us 250 plus another 50 that's 300 so let's say FD space 300 bang that's what we get but that's taking us out of the stream but we want to come back there let me just say FD minus 300 and see what we have on minus 300 back there now let's change direction if we change the direction that would be much better that's uh, RT RT now give me 180 rotation now let's move it individually FD move 150 bang now let's move it again FD move another 150 we're there now that's much better so let's now draw our square again the square I'm going to be drawing now will be 100 so make that 100 and change the color the color that I want now with the red let's come to the paint color right there and change that to red press enter can you guys see that it's gone right down now but I want it to go up so I might as well get my turtle head move it up there so let's say RT make that that will give me how many degrees or 90 degrees here no RT 
should give me 180 now make that 180 good I'll take 180 now change my drawing right there change that to 100 there guys now we're getting on the right course so now move this RP move it right here okay take it there and let's enter RP 90 degrees then D make that 100 now another RT RT make the RT on or oh, change it to 90 degrees 90 degrees now take that up now RT should be 180 now okay RT 180 now F D 100 okay supposing I come back down RT 180 FD 100 RT 180 again now let's draw so square make that 150 150 and change the color to green pen color change that pen color to green click on OK now come in here press enter look at that guys you see how to draw this uh, simple lines so the next thing is I'm going to now say RT give an RT of 90 RT 90 and FD make that FD 150 yeah 150 now give me another RT of that will be let's make that 180 and see what will happen 180 no it's going back just give it another RT 90 good so the next thing is our square now let it be square will be 200 right now so let's change the color of that to yellow so select the yellow pen go in there click that's it now press enter so now press enter and that's that guys so this is how you draw boxes across so I'll call that the end of this tutorial Thank you.